Good morning, everyone, and welcome. It's Friday, the 3rd of December. My name is Zoe Sturgeon, and welcome to our Friday edition of Good Morning, North Coast. We are going to be starting today's show with Prathisha Singh, uh, bringing us our daily dose of inspiration, and directly followed after that, we will have Haley and Dion bringing us the weather and surf report. We have a jam-packed show for you this morning with guest Mandy from the Beauty Box and Warren Loder from Thoughts of a Middle-Aged Man blog, Alistair from the Belita Ski Boat Club and Carl from Salt Rock Coffee takes their seat and will be chatting to me about the big fishing competition that will be coming soon. Followed by an interview with Sharon St. Clair from Chandra Mala. Our last guest, Salmon will be taking all things designer water bolito before we head into our sports with Matt Williams. I will give you some of my weekend vibes, which is the entertainment that is happening for the weekend ahead. Our mus music video showcase will shortly follow after that. And that leads us right up to our first interview for this morning, which is Patricia. Welcome. Morning, Zoe. Zoe. Thank you for having me. Awesome. I'm always curious to see what you've got for us. So take it yes. away. Yes. So today we're talking about releasing yourself from the shackles of 2021 mm. and igniting your fire for 2022. So the way that works, though, is we need to learn the lessons from 2021, right? And I'm sure, I know I'm in this boat, and I'm sure most people are, and you are too. We have our shoulds and we have our shouldn'ts, and this shouldn't have happened in 2021, and this should not, should have happened. Mm. I should have done this, she should have done this, he should have done this, you know? So I like to call this our shoulds and our shouldn'ts, which are basically our judgments of the year. Yes. Okay? So to move on to 2022, if we don't deal with what happened in 2021, we will just perpetuate the same patterns in 2022. Mm. So if you're in a bad, rough relationship in 2021 and you don't learn the lessons and move on, it's kind of impossible to be in a good one next year, right? It is, yes. And it's the same for all your goals and all your aspirations. If we don't unpack what happened in 2021, how do we change it and rewire it for 2022? Mm. So that's what we want to talk about here. So I invite you to painfully have a look at your shoulds and your shouldn'ts and what happened and what didn't happen and what went right and what went wrong in 2021. Learn the lessons, but be compassionate and kind with yourself. Release those judgments. I mean, we all tried our best, right, in 2021. Mm. I'm sure the universe even tried their best in 2021 <laughs> for us. But things don't always go our way. And acceptance is key. So if we want to release it, we need to kind of accept it. Mm. So everyone is familiar with the phrase, it is what it is, right? Yes. Now, when you say, in all honesty, I want you to think about something that happened to you that you're not happy with okay. and say, it is what it is. Don't you kind of have a bit of a negative, like a resignation or I give up kind of energy? Yes. You do, right? Let's yeah. all be honest with ourselves. We've all tried this. Yes. We all know the theory behind it and we should be saying, it is what it is. Yeah. So I invite you to say, it is what it is, and it isn't what it isn't. Mm. Because what the mind does when you say it is what it is, is it fills the gap up with negative stuff. Yes. It is what it is, but, and your mind will fill it in. Mm. So when we say it is what it is, and it isn't what it isn't, mm. it stops us from blowing things up, because we love blowing things up, oh, yeah. right? We're like drama queens all on the inside. Mole heels into mountains. <laughs> all of us, we love it. <laughs> It's a human tendency, so it's yes. not just you at home, and it's not just you, and it's not just me, it's all of us. It is. So I invite you to go on that little journey with yourself, and just, it's a bit of retrospect, you know, go back, reflect on the year, take the lessons, adjust your path so that next year you can ignite your soul's fire. It yeah? Sounds amazing. And next year when you're thinking, when you've released the stuff and you're now on this literally clean slate, you will be on a clean slate once you've released the past. Yes. Then you can start thinking about where do I want to put my energy in 2022? Where do I want to get my joy from? What do I want to do to make 2022 the greatest year ever? Mm. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense getting rid of that luggage. Yes, exactly. Freeing up some space for some Ditch new luggage, luggage for next year. Yes, <laughs> make the space. Otherwise exactly. you'd be overflowing and inundated. What an amazing lesson that is. Thank you so much. I think also heading into the new year, we're all planning what those New Year's resolutions are going to be and if we are actually going to stick to it for longer than just January and February. Well, I <laughs> hope so and good luck with that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Pratisha. Look forward to having you back 
as always. All right, guys, we're going to be heading into a little ad break, and then we will be back after this. I believe the weather and surf report will be coming up soon. Thank you.